Hey guys, and welcome inside Paul Portarino. Brennan the Butler Boylan here alongside Coach Alex Simmons following a loss here to Mount St. Mary's. Coach, let's start with the positives. You had three in double figures. You had 25 points off the bench. Your defense forces 12 steals, and you shoot 81% from the line. What positive takeaways can you come away with even in a loss like this? You know, we stepped up in the second half, got stops that we needed, um, got some buckets that we needed. We started being a little bit more aggressive, so it's positive to see um, some players step up and lead in that second half. Um, but obviously, we got some things we have to get better at also. Coach, maybe the biggest negative of today there in the third quarter, seven-minute scoring drought and 0-13 from the floor. Did you guys feel it wasn't getting good looks, or were you just not able to convert and get the ball in the bucket? You know, we had great looks at the rim, um, you know, from the outside, too. We just couldn't get the ball to go in, and, you know, usually you use that, and hopefully it goes in and translates on the defensive end to get stops. Um, but, yeah, we just couldn't get the ball to go in the basket and kept trying to force some things that we probably shouldn't have, getting a little anxious when we couldn't make those shots. Coach, we saw a little bit of great play off the bench from Jessica Williams and also with Petty Home. What have the two of them meant? to your team, especially bringing in a player who has so much experience playing at Miami and then bringing in a player that ended her career on a 62-game winning streak. What have they meant to your team so far early this season? You know, uh, Jess and Nija have been really big for us. Um, Nija from a standpoint of leadership, knowing the, knowing the basketball game, knowing what's going on and having a good feel for the game. Um, Jess is a freshman and she's not playing like a freshman right now. She knows we need her to play. She knows she has to come in the game and produce and that's what she's doing right now. And finally, Coach, looking there at the fourth quarter, you only give up two field goals in the fourth quarter. You mentioned second half, a little more resilient and made this a two possession ball game. What can you take away and tell your team in the locker room following a loss like tonight and saying, you know what guys, we came back and we did make this a ball game. We kept fighting to the end. You know, I told the team, a loss will never be definitive of who you are, who you are as a as a team and the program. But um, we picked up the pressure in the second half, and that's really what we wanted to do the whole game. In the second half, it finally clicked. Um, we forced them into some turnovers and had a chance to tie the game and probably go up. Um, you know, now it's time to go to work back in practice. Well, guys, that's all we have here from Paul Porter Arena. For Coach Alex Simmons, it's Brendan the Butler Boylan. For more information about women's basketball, check out GWSports.com.